Hi guys. A few years ago, I bought these little, they're called photo overlays. It's basically printed acetate. I bought these at uh, Tuesday morning. I think I, I paid a dollar forty-nine for them. So there you go. These are all the patterns that's on there. I decided I was going to use that to make a shaker card. So I did go ahead and cut it down because I felt like, well, one, it was a big square and I didn't need a square because I wasn't making a square card. So there's that. Um, but I went ahead and cut it down. Then I used a rectangle die and I cut a re rectangle out of the center of this. This mat is four by five and a quarter. And so then, I know chevron usually goes the other way. I hate chevron, so as quickly as I can cover it up, I will. I didn't like how that looked. But I did like, this is a rectangle from the same rectangle die set. I did like how that looked. So I'm using that. And I don't know what size that is. I suppose I could measure it and tell you. That would be helpful. It is three and an eighth by four and a half. Then I have two mats that go on the inside. First off, this is a standard A2 size card base. It's a pre-made card base. They're thick. I like them. And I have a bunch because I went nuts when I bought a bunch of these, quite apparently. I have two mats for the inside. One is cut at four by five and a quarter, and the other is cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I wanted to go ahead and bring that green to the inside. Then the only sentiment that I'm using is this die cut. It comes in two different dies, and there are a lot of different companies that put these out. I don't even remember who I got these from. This is the, like, shadow die is the only way I know to explain it. And then you have the hello die, which I could just use the hello, I suppose. But it goes on there a lot of it. And you glue them together. My husband's phone is extremely loud, and I'm sorry it's distracting. I may use just that yellow. Because I actually kind of like that, and I think I like it better than this one. This one I had popped up on a whole bunch of foam, um, but I can use them on a different card. So I think I'm going to use just this plain yellow. And then what I might do on this one is kind of offset that black just a little bit and give it another shadow. That might be kind of cool. I got out a variety of sequins because shaker cards. <laughs> so this should be pretty easy and straightforward, right? I have a bunch of dies that I always forget to use. So, it's same with pattern paper. Because um, I went kind of nuts buying that as well a while back. And I need to use it. And like I've said before in my videos this year, I'm not buying any paper at all this year. I have more than enough and it's an obscene amount and I need to use it. I need to get it put to use. That's cutting it close. And actually, I didn't cut any off of the height 
of this guy. I only cut some off the sides of that guy. Let me get my foam. And I have a giant roll of foam that I bought on Amazon. This is about half the size it originally was. And I like this one. It's not as thick as the 3M, but I like it. And I usually just double it up. And the way that I double it up is kind of line it up like this, as opposed to putting it down and then having to fuss with it. I've seen a ton of people do it this way, so I don't feel silly for doing it. Well, I don't feel silly for most things, but... I'm kind of a silly person as it is. Alright, so I need at least that much more for the other side. My, that's a lot. And I need to keep an eye on the memory and on the battery. My most recent card that you guys should have seen before this one was a Mickey Mouse inspired card. And some die cuts is what inspired me to make that card. And that has to be my favorite card of all time that I've made. But I'm a dizzy, Disney person. I've always liked, not dizzy, but Disney. <laughs> I've always, I might be a little dizzy sometimes too. Um, or more like ditzy. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this. I really like Disney. I always have. So, most things Disney I, I like. And I say most things because I don't like all of Disney's things. It's definitely a cash cow. I know that. They make billions of dollars a year, I bet. Alright. Let's see, now I just have to peel the one back. I'm going to have to have more of this because of the way I did this. Maybe that was ditzy. Did I put that down all kinds of crooked? No, just this corner. Man. Ditzy might be fitting me. I went to the Walmart grocery store that we have in this little town. We have a Walmart, and I absolutely despise going to it. Anytime I can avoid it, I do. Because, I don't know about the Walmart where you guys live, but the people at the Walmart by me, they're just rude. Rude, rude. And I, it just makes me irritated when I leave there. So I try to not go to Walmart. Um... I don't mind going to the Walmart grocery store because it's typically not as busy. So, today I was in there. I just had to run in there and grab a few things and then I was out. But as I was headed to the checkout lane, which anymore I use the self-checkout, and I know I probably shouldn't because by using the self-checkout, you know, they're eliminating jobs. But sometimes it's just faster, you know? At any rate, so I went in there to grab a few things. And while I was in there, I went to head out to the checkout line and looked up from my phone to run into my son. <laughs> I was like, 
Hey, I know you. He just started laughing. He's like, I hope you know me. <laughs> but it was funny that we were there at the same time. And I know people were like, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> because we just looked like two random people standing there talking. And my son doesn't look a lot like me. He looks almost identical to his dad. Um, he's Native American, has beautiful olive-colored skin. And, well, you can see how pale I am. So people don't look at us and think mother-son. Oh, no, no, no. Let's don't do that. Anyway, it was kind of funny. I said, well, what are you doing? He said, oh, getting some groceries. I said, oh, boy. And he was kind of in a in a icky mood today, which, you know, we've all had those days. But he and I never, ever do we not laugh at something when we're around one another. Just because we crack each other up. Because why not? Anyway, so we were laughing through the store. People looking at us like we had five heads. It was kind of funny. Yeah, one of my son's friends got in a tight spot and basically got kicked out by a family member who we now realize she was just mooching off of that family member. It's a it's no wonder they kicked her out. Um, but you know, I said to my son because they dated at one time, but they're still friends. Well. They had started seeing each other and then, for whatever reason, quit. And he didn't talk to her for months. Several months. And out of the clear blue sky, she called him and, of course, the sob story about I got kicked out, yada, yada, yada. So he felt really bad for her and said, you can stay with me until you get a different place. Well... My son is such a sweetheart. It's been almost two months. She has made no effort to move. And here's here's the kicker. He lives in a one-bedroom apartment, and he gave up his bed, and he's been sleeping on the couch in an apartment that he is paying for. She's not paid one dime. Um, she's bought toilet paper once in two months. And she's just mooching off of him. That's what she's doing. That's how I see it. Um, and I told him, I said, son, oh, shoot, I forgot to use my anti-static powder bag. I always do that. Anyway, I said to him, I said, son, you're going to have to put your foot down here. Because really, the m main reason why he said that she could stay there is he's a dog lover like me and she has a little dog and he didn't want the little dog to be sleeping in a car or on the streets or and he cares about his friend don't get me wrong he doesn't want her having to do any of those things either which is why he said, yeah, you can stay with me for a little bit till you get on your feet. Well, like I said, she hasn't even bothered. So, I told him, I said, son, you're going to have to tell her she's got to go. She doesn't clean up after herself. She's an absolute slob. 
I went over there one day because they were both working during the day. And if you don't go take the dog out, then the dog messes in the house. And he lives in an apartment. And if they find out that he's got a dog living there, they will either charge him for um, what am I trying to say here? They'll either charge him uh, for a deposit for said animal or kick him out. I said, that's the last thing in the world you need is to eat any of those things. So, he's just going to have to put his foot down. And I said, it, you know, I know you feel bad. And it sucks that you're in this position. However, I feel like she's taking advantage of you. And my husband has said the same thing. You know, you're too nice at times. And people take advantage of you. And, you know, nobody wants to hear that. But we are brutally honest people. So, you know, we don't intentionally hurt anybody's feelings, especially his. Um, but he's our son, so, of course, we're going to care, you know? Dang it, that went down wrong. Come on. Hang on. Let's move that guy out of the way. This is my background. And I think I'm going to glue these, these little hearts in random spots. I forgot to put one on my Mickey Mouse card, so I'm going to keep one out for that. picker this is a Marvy jewel picker I have the quick stick I think is what it's called I cannot stand that thing that thing irritates me to no end so I found one of these guys and it's just Marvy M-A-R-V-Y Jewel picker. Now I'm going to drop these inside here. Alright, I don't know where the memory got full, but I was putting this back on here. All I did was peel off the uh, protective strips on the. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hello, words. The protective strip on the foam. There we go. And I put a lot in there because that's the only thing. It's not going to be covered. So I wanted something cute. Right? And I just drew from the colors that are on the hearts and I need to pay closer attention. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I did this. Oh, I feel so stupid. Uh, and I don't think I can fix this. Yeah, I can. I'm going to die cut another panel because you guys don't see what I did. These hearts are not supposed to be upside down. And if I turn it around, then the light bulb's upside down. So, there's that. That doesn't make it any better. God damn it. I am so aggravated at myself for that. Alright, let me go ahead and stick it down, and then I'll die cut another panel to put there on top of it. It won't be hearts. I don't know what it's going to be, actually. And the reason I'm putting glue on this is I want the whole thing stuck, stuck down. Um... Put my light bulb right side up. Good grief, I can't believe I did that. I don't know why I can't believe I did that, but somehow I can't seem to manage that I did that. 
manage to believe. Let me rephrase that. And let me go ahead and put these two together and in the card. Good grief. I get so aggravated at myself when I do stuff like that. It just annoys me to no end. And it's not that... It's not that... Um, How do I want to phrase this? It's not that I think, oh, oh, I'm so good at this, I won't put this on wrong. It's not that at all, because I'm not. Um, I just do what feels right. And today, I guess, I thought upside down hearts felt right. At this moment, I'm not thinking that. But what irritates me about it is I specifically looked at it and thought to myself, you've got to remember that's directional. Don't put it on upside down. And oh, lo and behold, I stuck it down upside down. I cut another panel to put on top of that. Do you guys ever watch the dog rescuer videos that are here on YouTube? I fall down the rabbit hole on that and watch all these dog rescues and cat rescues and then before I know it I've wasted hours <sighs> or it seems like. And I thought, I can't be the only one that does this. Because typically what I do is I turn the people that I, I like to watch that are like crafters and then um, obviously animal rescues, like I just said. I turn those on while I'm crafting. not so bad. I mean, it's a little bit visible down here, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because if I keep messing with it, I will most certainly mess it up. I think what I will do, though, is add some enamel dots. Because that will hide part of it. Get a big old fat one and put it right there. Hang on. And then a smaller one? No. And then this size. And then my little heart is visible, right? That's probably too high. My little heart is visible right there. I just glued that down with my art glitter glue. What other colors do I have in there? No, I'm not going to keep adding. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm very frustrated myself with this card, so... I don't want to look at it and go, Man, I wish I hadn't done that. Man, my squeaky chair. So what do you guys think, in spite of my flub up? I think it turned out kind of cute. And this is a thick card. It wouldn't cost that much more to mail, though. And if you're like me, 
I make a lot of cards, and yes, I send a lot of cards, but the people that I send them to are not looking at them and scoring them on a scale from 1 to 10. They're not pointing out all the flaws in it, you know. They're just glad I sent them a card. So there. I think it turned out cute in spite of itself. You guys let me know what you think. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly do appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.